Welcome back to the Michigan Interstate Wells. Today, we're in Owasso, Michigan. Just because we're taking a look here of Pyramid Maquette Hill 25. They would take the Old Folk Express out of Owasso all the way to Ashley, Michigan. It's a 35 minute drive, but they take like an hour because that's by freight train. And the Pier Maquette 1225 was not running last year. It was running two years ago. They finally get it moving this year. We were at the SRI building and stuff where they had it sitting. And now we're at the Robinson Furniture CO sign at the West Main Street. coming up fast. Oh, wow. That beauty sounds really good. The newest car that they added to the North Pole Express is the Pennsylvania Coach Cars. That is actually the newest coach car they added to the North Pole Express. They would depart around 10 a.m. and they would take like an hour and a half. It's because by well train. Usually, it's like 35 minutes from Owasso to Ashley by car, but by train it usually takes like an hour or two, depending for freight. But for this go for express, it takes like an hour and a half. With the Pierre Maquette leading the way, it would be special to all Whale fans because, well, the Pierre Maquette is 80 years old, the 1225 is. So that's the reason why we all decided chasing it this year. We would only get to four spots. I was planning on getting to five, but whatever. We missed it to one of our only spots that I knew we were going to make it to. Oh well. At least we get to see it four times in a while. Whatever. This is the second time that we have seen it in our chase. We are here at the Carlin Elevator. And if you can see, the drone footage and the drone looks even better than the other one that I just had. This is the new one I just picked up. So, enjoy the footage.
we would not honestly make it to Ellsley, which it would be our third spot, but this is actually our third. Out in the field, we would get this shot, but didn't get all the train because we would still chase it up to Ashley still. And we would be in Bannister. Now we transform into Ashley. We are just south of Ashley right now. And 1225 is smoking it. He was hauling it from Carlin to here in Ashley. They almost had two incidents today. One was standing on the tracks, and I don't know what the other reason. But really, you should not stand on the tracks when the trains come. Anywho, instead of fast saying that, let's get the 1225 last time. Man, that's a great horn for the other unit. Basically, we're here in Ashley, Michigan, because this would actually be the last time that we would see the Puma Cat till we would get some lunch and eat it here at the fire department, Ashley, Michigan. So we decided just to change our plans of not chasing it back to Owasso. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say the location that we're going next, but we would do some shopping here and get some pictures and videos of the Pyramid Cat before we go back to a little bit of south. Where we go might be worth it. Canadian National A492 would end up having a clear eastward towards Flint. 
They would go to Flint work, but where we are at is Duran, Michigan, Union Station, where we basically can well fit at. Basically, well fitting the Holly and the Flint Zone. A little bit of the Great Lakes Central and the Huron Eastern. No Huron in Eastern today. There was no Great Lakes at all today either. We're just going to see some Canadian National. A CN 100th anniversary with ending up leading the A492. After checking the ATCS monitor here at Duran, Michigan, that they would have as the screen monitor, they would have another eastbound line, not to go through the diamond. They would take this connection to go south to Flat Rock. You would come from Homewood, Illinois, to Flat Rock, Michigan, but this is Q116. They would basically drop the intermodal at Ferndale, Michigan. That's like in the Detroit area. And SC-75I would end up leading Q116 today with an SC-78 or M throwing second on this intermodal. Looks a little bit long today. Usually it's quite short. Sometimes he can be short, sometimes he can be long. Today he's a long one. Especially because it's going to take a while to get all their animal profit to um, Ferndale, for sure.
we would have another train. This one is basically E251. From Flat Rock to Homewood, Illinois, in the Chicagoland area. He would have a solo BNSF leading, and I would get this excellent storm footage, which ending up being a pacing, but why not do it? it the wind tied down a little bit after like 40 minutes went by after getting Q116. E251 would get a signal northbound and then taking the Y to go west towards Chicagoland area with a solo BNSF in the lead. Alrighty, well, if you could see, we got a very well surprise here. This train was unexpected to be today, because usually it doesn't run on Saturdays. This is a very rare move. Well, if you can see, right there, now I'm about to get the drone, oh, there we go. This is the drone view of the footage that I would get of the Great Lake Central. After getting some heads up on the Great Lakes Central Welfare Facebook page, I was given some heads up that some light power move would head south like two or one hour later after I got to Duran. But now, we're just sitting here, and then basically after an hour later, we would get some heads up that he would come back north.
since the last time I seen Great Lakes Central, it was the summer of 2023. And V83 would ended up leading a NS Grain train by then. Now it's trailing on a Great Lakes Central potash train bound for Saginaw, Michigan on the Huron and Eastern. This Great Lake Central did not go up to Saginaw. But Huron and Eastern do. So this potash load is basically bound for Saginaw on the Huron and Eastern. CSX have broken this one up to Toledo. And then Ann Arbor Railroad would take it up to Ann Arbor Interchange with the Great Lake Central. And now Great Lake Central with the Huron and Eastern. It would take a few days now, but this train is incredibly worth to wait. Even though we would get another special interest train that would come from the foot sub. However, this is even special because Great Lake Central used to be my favorite railroad. I don't really have a favorite. That's a short line. And that was my favorite sh short line. Now, Indiana and Ohio Railroad is my favorite railroad of short lines. I don't really have a favorite um, Class 1 railroad.
SD60 quad. Alright, by the time I was flying the drone up again, we would get our train. The last train, basically, I would see on the ATCS monitor screen here at the Union Station. I will explain it in a little bit, though. Alright, if you've seen the CN 100th anniversary, that one would end up being trailing. Even though we saw one leading, like, hours ago, on A492, this one is M396, setting up towards Canada, though, not that far into the Canada border, but... We would get a mid DPU on this one. However, though, I'm not going to spoil the surprise. And you guys probably have seen the locomotive on this channel already, but I'm not going to spoil it. Maybe because of other reasons. Because not only that I was just keeping it as a surprise, you guys probably know what it is. If you can see, that is an X City Weld trailing as a mid DPU. That was kind of like a su surprise for us because we would not expect the X City Weld being as a mid DPU on this one. Although, however, we would get our last train of the day be before we go home, and my buddy from the Chicago area would also go home after getting this train from the Hollywood Club. This is some perfect lighting, even though we kind of backlit, but I'm still flying the drone. And by the time that this train would come, I would change batteries for the drone and get it up there. I got some incredible sh good shots with this one. I paced it a little bit to the crossing west of us, but the pacing shot went good. Basically our last train for the day actually. A extra A491. This was an extra from Flatwalk to Chicagoland area. Just by the look how I'm doing really good with this one. If you could tell by the sky blown and out, whatever, I don't shoot manual, I shoot auto. Maybe because I'm not that type of person who would shoot manual just yet. But, there's an SD-75R, 12 and 2nd. 
and that sun is white on the lens. It's like shining to it. Although, however, I was decided to get this shot back towards the Union Station where I launched it at. Maybe because, well, don't like having the drone too far away. But with the drone far away, you can also get some really good shots, like I am having right now. After getting X491, we would all head back home. I got a two hour drive back home, and my friend Matt has a five hour drive back home. So we would head out, out of here after getting this extra 491 flat walk to Chicagoland area. But, I had an incredible good time with my good friend Matt today. We chased the Pyramid the North Fork Swift and now we're opening here at Durham, Michigan. Never been here, but good time here at Durham, Michigan. Thank you for y'all to be watching this video. I know it took like almost like 36 minutes of your time, but I appreciate it. Thank you for you guys watching.
and I'll see y'all in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Wells.